Hello, I'm Tappy Tantrum, Duke here, ready to review another day of the space case. Today we're, uh, say hi to Uncle Brett. Hey, Bob. <laughs> today we're on day seven of the space case. Uh, Brett has said today will be the day of the darkness. Day of the dark. It's got to happen. Uh, so earlier today I saw Philip posted on their story some of these beers, but thankfully I just missed it. But that could have been Paul Phillips, and I didn't see them. That could have been deadly. Okay, so are we ready? Ready to go? Ready to go. One, two, three, go. That does not look dark at all. And that's another uh, light beer for the boys. Another light beer for the boys. A seven point eight. I feel like a space case should be called the sun case. Yeah, seriously. Jeez. Holy cow! Look at this right up. I'm not even going to read that, but here, yeah, here's no. the one. Kind of interesting. Seeing this post-contemporary IPA, I feel like the Fernwood boys would love this. Yeah, this has this has Fernwood written all over it. Maybe a little country oh, village, too. Couple of years and hammer it. 7.8%. One of these, and we'll be ready to go dancing at Plan B. Or straight to bed. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, pretty light, but it's got a kind of a nice darker tint like for an IPA. Color, like what are yeah, the flavors on, on there? I feel like it's gonna be like a fat tug kind of hey, because you just never know. It kind of smells like a fat tug. It doesn't. Yeah, I don't see where it says flavor. Flavor notes are warming, spicy, floral, delicate. Okay, we're getting a little darker. You're right. But, yeah, like maybe, maybe a winter ale. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Yeah, that's a fat dog. Kind of tastes like if you or I were to like homebrew an IPA. Mm -hmm. this, this is what we'd come up with. I honestly, that's a good call. <laughs> like kind of flat, kind of very alcoholic, not very a whole alcoholic. lot of flavor. Not offensive, oh. but like. I say there's, I would, yeah, it doesn't even have for the on zero for the in this one. No, definitely would is that I, would, aftertaste though. Yeah, would I buy this? No, no. If I if I got in a flight, it'd be kind of nice. Yeah, I wouldn't be upset about it. Again, I think if we're to go back to our old rating system, this would be a flight. Yeah, flight for sure. If this was an actual player, an athlete, I would say it's kind of like. Jeremy Roenick with the w with the Coyotes, like washed up Jeremy Roenick. Washed up like, Jeremy Roenick. Yeah, you think you're paying for a nice fancy IPA, but really mm -hmm. you're just getting something maybe that's not going to perform the way you want it to perform. But it's still going to be in your face with the seven point eight percent, the long long mullet and Jeez. Uh, aggressiveness. I was kind of going the same place if you minus the washed up part. I'm going Zach Cassian. Oh, Zach Cassian, shout out Oilers. Shout out to Oilers winning uh, 2 1 right now, if I'm not mistaken. First place. Yeah, I think it's a beer that might hit you in the face a couple times. You're not worried about them scoring any goals on you, though. <laughs> future, you may, uh, you may get like, a system shot bouncing off the skate, like what happened tonight. <laughs> a few cheap shots for sure. Exactly. You mess with this too much and mess you up. <laughs> yeah. It's got good carbonation, though. Yeah. I just don't understand what the appeal to going from like, five percent to seven point eight percent is oh i like the alcohol you taste sometimes yeah i'm more like, like a juicy or beer where you have that fruity taste to go along with it yeah where this is just like yeah it has half the taste of booze got kind of like that aftertaste of like vodka almost or something like that do you get that kind of like sharp I've had vodka in years, but I know what yeah. you mean by the sharpness. Like it honestly tastes like it's twelve point five percent or something along those lines. Yeah. Though so maybe it's true, like the fat dog story, where when you get it on tap, you don't know what you're getting. Yeah, that's crazy. Could be twelve percent, be five percent. Maybe yes. that's the same thing like this. Yeah. If Fergie's like really feeling elegant, he'll get a fat tug. <laughs> fat tug in the golf course. I, I, like if he's 
basically it's like if he's going to the keg for a meal he'll he'll get a fat tug or something like that or he he just got his christmas bonus and he's gonna buy a fat tug lucky's going in the fridge yeah awesome well it's it's not bad uh it's better than the lager yesterday yeah. but it's um nothing amazing but no, that's it's not exciting so we have a little um we're trying to shift up the content a bit. So Brett and I both being from Victoria um, are pretty well experienced with the Victoria, greater Victoria brewery. So for a little bit of fun, we're going to do a uh, South Island, Victoria, Langford, Colwood power rankings for beer. So Brett, we're going to list our five favorite beers and then our five okay. breweries as well. Sounds good. So we'll just go one by one. So I have for honorable mention for my favorite breweries, um, shout out Phillips on the honorable <laughs> mention um, and Bad Dog Brewing out in small town Souk. Do you have any honorable mention? For breweries, um, again, I agree with you. Shout out Phillips or the originator. You can't discredit them for that. Yeah, a lot the of The other one is solely based on atmosphere. Um, I will never say their beers are the best beers in the world, but shell whistleboy. Yeah. As I will mention, great place to go drink, but great spot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not picking up their beers and taking them home, but I'm happy and enjoying them when I'm there. Yeah, their beers are pretty like in the sun, they're really good. Like when mm-hmm. you're if this was based on just summertime breweries, I would definitely have them pretty high. Yeah, I think that's probably true. They'd sneak in there. Yeah. So what do you have for number five, Brett? Uh, for my beers or for my breweries? Uh, we'll do breweries first. Breweries? You're not going to agree with this one. This one's a little controversial. Oh, Il Sauvage. <laughs> Il Sauvage. <laughs> yeah. Get a couple of sours in me. Oh, just straight <laughs> liquid poison. So my number five is Lighthouse. Okay. Uh, I, I love Race Rocks. Yeah. And, you know, they do some good stuff. Kind of, again, one of the more classic breweries in Victoria. For sure. My number four is Sue Ocean Side. Yeah, great call. They probably have the number one beer in Victoria that that Imperial Red Ale they put out for Christmas. Yeah, I'm excited for that. That's the one you yeah gave me that last we, year or two years ago. Last year we didn't last include year. it on our list, or at least I didn't include it because it's more okay. like a specialty. But um, number four for me, I put Sue Ocean Side as well. So <laughs> there we go. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Duke Oceanside. Duke Oceanside gave us a comment today, which was nice. Very sick. Yeah. So I wonder what's if your number top, three? Um, top four are going to be the same here. Yeah, it might be. What's number your number three? three? Number three is Driftwood. Yeah. <laughs> so, so mine's Driftwood as well. That's funny. <laughs> what beers do you like from Driftwood? Uh, you know the one. Yeah. A little fat dog. Raised by Wolves, though, I think is my favorite from them. Yeah, Fat Tug. Um, have you had the Crooked Coast alt yeah. beer by then? Yeah. That one is fire. All right, number two. Uh, number two, Hoyne. Hoyne as well for me. <laughs> <laughs> so Hoyne, everything they do is really good. Yeah, uh, they're, I'd say they're the beer. highest like, benchmark of quality for their beers. Yeah, like you know if you're buying a Hoyne yeah back or anything like that it's going to be good it's going to be real good it's going to be a little bit safe they've started to experiment a little bit which has intrigued me they have a couple i actually included one specially by hoin in my top five beers but it was a longer term yeah. special, so i thought i could sneak it in all right number yeah, one and the one i think i know which one you included and that that's more of like a seasonal and less of like a specialty i think exactly uh so number one i'm sure we have the same thing category 12 yeah <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's funny. So we have the same top four. Same top four, and then we couldn't have been any more different than our number five. Yeah, number five. Yeah. Yeah. And category 12. Literally, if you haven't been there, you have to go. It, it's yeah. a destination. Um I, I'm gonna come back to Victoria for Christmas and um I think we'll do a kind of a, a vlog and we'll definitely show you category twelve sure. and what they have to offer. Their beers are just Peak. oh man like, their hazy beers are just their hazy amazing, beers are amazing you know? their um belgians are unbelievably good their dark beers are spectacular like they can do it all they're so good 
Yeah. And, and it's a good atmosphere there too. You know, you yeah. go there and you, everyone fits in everyone gets along. So shifting our focus to um, our favorite beers from Victoria region. Um, did you have any honorable mention? I have a couple. Do you want me to read them out? Yeah. So number one, Race Rocks, you mentioned already. Yeah. Perfect kind of affordable beer. Every time I have it, it's so good, but I'm never kind of going to buy a pack of it for whatever reason. Yeah. But like, like if it's, if it's on tap at like the Royals game, you're just yeah. like, oh, jackpot. Um, other one is Excitation by Hoyne. Yeah. Yeah. Can't really go wrong. Coffee. I think it's a stout. Coffee stout. Yeah. It's an espresso stout. Yeah. Um, lastly, you're going to hate this one. the Dino Sour Stone Fruit. <laughs> yeah. I've been on that boat right now. Yeah. Did yeah. you see, it was it Trevor in our comments? mentioned he wasn't a fan Did you see that no like trevor our old, youtube comments her old neighbor i think so yeah oh no no trevor if you watch if you're watching that this uh let us know what beers you like what you don't <laughs> like um so for my honorable mention i had a few because victoria has so many good beers but um i had the the hoin alt beer the uh, naughty hildegard esb by driftwood uh the fat tug ipa by Driftwood. Oh, I thought that was going to make it onto your list. No, Crooked Coast Alt Beer by Driftwood. Here's a shocker. They, this might be an upset. Dark Matter by Hoyne. Oh, wow. ESB by Hoyne. Um, and then the Bad Dog Red Ale. Have you had that one? I don't think I have. Yeah, it's a good one. Which one's Bad Dog? Is that the one? That, that's that little one we went out to in Souk. We took the dogs out there. Oh. In the middle of nowhere, yeah. What's the one out that by the airport? airport? Uh, that was how. Really. Yeah, that place is sweet too. Yeah, it's a cool little spot. All right, so what's your number five beer? What's your fifth favorite uh, beer? Um, this is a beer I literally have not had in probably a year, but every time I have it, it's so good. But you can't have it more than once a season. Uh, oh. Also, just raspberry sour. Oh, I had that one too for five. Really? <laughs> Jokes? <laughs> no way. It's bomb, man. Like, if you like sours, that to me is kind of the pinnacle of a sour, but everybody makes a raspberry sour now, so it's not that exciting anymore. Yeah. But, like, when it first came out and I first had it, it was so good. You know what happened is I had too many of those. One year when I was living in Vancouver, we used to go over the border and grab beer, and I had too many of the um, shock, what's top? That? shock top yeah. raspberry lemon so now right. anything like fruity or flora, I just can't do it. So it's thanks fair. a lot, Shock Top. <laughs> so number five, I have, um, this is a delicious beer. It's such a good stocking stuffing stuff for beer is the Longboat Chocolate Porter. Oh, so I good. Love, yeah, love that beer. Um, number four for me is the Raised by Wolves IPA by Driftwood. Oh, so good. So good, man. Oh, man. I didn't even put that in. I didn't even think about Oh, their hazy IPA is so good, too. Just, Which one's that? What, what's that mix pack? The swash bucket? This, yeah, pack? that's the only time I've ever had Raised by Wolves is in that swash that's bucket. The mix best, pack, but every that's time literally the best mix pack in BC. A little expensive, I, but it's so good. I always think I'm going to kind of rotate through them. I end up just drinking the Raised by Wolves first, then be like, oh, oh that's so good. Yeah. good. Um, my number four, and this is probably a surprise, but I just love this beer. And you mentioned earlier, is Race Rocks. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's like, we're Scottish, and it's just got that Scottish taste to it. It's just so good. Do you know when we first started really liking Race Rocks? It was going to Grizzlies games, and you got those free tickets. Yeah, that was sick. Yeah. Shout out, uh, shout out, um, what's what's his name? name? NHL now. NHL, yeah. Shoot. New New Hook. New Hook, yeah. Shout out. Um, number Number three. three. Number three for me is the Hoyne Alt beer. Yeah, great beer. Like it's, I remember looking everywhere for the first tall can of it. Picked it up. It was affordable. Drank it. This is the best beer I ever have. Went back the next day and only bought a four, I bought four pack of single tall cans of it because they weren't selling packs yeah the, the like point, please, just, please please bring that back yeah i put that, that should be my, a winter feature too oh, not the whole time yeah fact, um, i might move that to number two considering but <laughs> <laughs> number three for me i got the red for red ale by mm. side just a I, really nice easy drinking irish red i thought what about you got that, that i knew that'd be in your top three so i just didn't put it on my list 
Cheers. That one's bomb. What do you got for number two? Can you guess? It's classic. Um, Anytime I go to the restaurant, this is what I'm ordering because I know they have it on top. Bad tug? No. Blue Buck? Dark, uh, dark Matter. Dark. Oh, yeah. So yeah. good. Yeah. Oh, I should give a shout out to Blue Buck, too. Honorable mention. Blue yeah. Buck. Um, yeah. Dark Matter is so good. It's so good. It's everywhere. It's so available. Again, think- it's not something I'm buying like packs of. Yeah. But anytime I'm going to a bin for or any sort of restaurant, I'm ordering a dark matter. It's so good. I had an honorable mention, but it could very easy be in my top three. So number two for me is the compressed data mm. pale ale by category 12. Just the most amazing summer beer. <laughs> so good. So what do you got? For, what's your winner? Juicy. Oh, me too. Juicy. <laughs> for you see data number yeah. one for both of the boys. Yeah. But I think it's the best beer in BC. I, I 100% and it's cheap. Yeah. It's like a tall can 350 at Cascadia. Yeah. And it's just so good. Like it's, I've never not wanted it. When I go to Tower 12, they always have like fun new stuff that I really want to try. And I like end up just walking with juicy data. Yeah. And you know what? I think a lot of like they have so many good kind of like trial hop. Mm-hmm. like uh, hoppy hazy beers but i'm pretty sure they all are juicy data with just a little bit of a twist like there. richard um yeah yes awesome so I-, I hope everyone enjoyed this we would love to hear what your favorite beers are from victoria what breweries um we're probably gonna do a nice uh a victoria beer vlog here pretty quick make a fool of ourselves walking in with- <laughs> we'll be those guys with the camera um, from jeff brett Merry Christmas. Just joking. It's not, it's not Christmas. Time. We're not there yet. It's not Fun fact, yet. a month until Christmas Eve, though. So Crazy. Uh, we're going to put out a nice uh, gift guide to help all you ladies uh, fill your, your your man's stocking. We'll tell you the best Christmas beers. Hashtag gratitude ale by coin. That's the easy go, right? Like that's. Oh, oh the Souk Oceanside one, man. Yeah, that's true. That's so actually one, don't you know. buy that because I want some exactly yeah awesome keep that one on the down low yeah well cheers friends thanks for visiting cheers p.s if you could like comment subscribe comment some more interact we would love that share share yeah that's the big one share it our hearts will go from little grinch hearts all the way to just humongous um (laughs) floyd mayweather hearts peace See you guys.